Hey, Sam. If you don't mind me asking, how'd you pass the time in prison? Uh, you know, reading, mostly. There was this one guard saw me as a charity case, I guess. He had to check out books from the library for me. So what'd you read? <laughs> History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know. Sure. But you know, besides books, push-up, uh... Hey, you think that old building's worth checking out? Sorry, you were saying, um, no, oh, right, push-ups, smoking, trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs. It's a whole lot of thinking. That's pretty much it. Sam, if you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get word to us? Oh, I tried. I asked him to mail a letter to your P.O. box. I never got it. That would be because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad. And Never saw that guard again. Jesus. I got my own back when the warden decided to room me with Alcazar. That didn't turn out how he expected. You know, come to think of it, I actually dealt with Alcazar a few decades ago, even before I met you two. Oh, <laughs> shit. Check this out. What if that's man-made or natural? Looks to me to be half and half. Sam, you were saying? Oh, that's right, I was. Uh, anyway. <laughs> oh, shit. How are you still alive? Well, he wasn't. Huh? You shoreline idiots. We should just blow it up ourselves. We happen to find the treasure, we just skim a little fineness be up the top. Don't even think about it. I'm not about to have Nadine hang me because of you. Yeah, there's definitely something down there. No one will know. She'll know, the rest of the crew will know, and we'll be dead. Yeah, but I... I'm tired, so please drop it. It's fine.
Sully, you were saying? Uh, oh, yeah, right. So, well, he wasn't quite the man he is today. Still working his way up the criminal ladder then. I sold his boss a few woodcut prints I'd smuggled out of Japan. He was into shoguns and such. Alcazar was the go-between. What was he like? Soft-spoken, but intense. Like he could explode at the slightest provocation. <laughs> well, he hasn't changed much then, has he? I got my money and got the hell out of there. <laughs> so, Pirate walks into a bar. Okay, here we go. And he's got the steering wheel sticking out of his crotch. All right. So the bartender goes, hey, man, what's with the wheel? And the pirate says back, ah, he's driving me nuts. <laughs> ah, I love that one. Don't make me leave you out here. Whoa! Looks like Shoreline found something. Go slow. You got it. Check it out, boys. What is it? Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, you can probably see all of King's Bay from up here. Yeah. Hey, look. There's the city. And there's the river valley. Look at this. Quite the view. I just keep waiting to wake up and find myself in solitary or something. <laughs> it's all some kind of dream. Sam. No, oh, no, no guilt trip. I'm just... Let's go find this thing. You bet. Guys, there's another tower just over the hill. See any shoreline marks? Can't tell. Well, it would appear we got here first. Let's uh, check the place out and keep moving. Drawbridge? How medieval. Yeah. Well, you don't put up a drawbridge unless you're trying to keep people out. Or protect something inside. <laughs> Hey, 
Nathan, come check this out. The hell, the stairs are busted. There's no way up to the crank. I'll see if I can find something to stand on. Shoreline must have been here before. Find his keepers. Be careful, kids. Guys, there's a massive tower just past the drawbridge. Biggest one yet. Bingo. Sam! Special delivery! Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, kid. You all right? I'm fine. You all right? Yeah. You got this? Mm -hmm. I see you. Are you two just relax? I got this. I mean, there's only one crank, you know. Keep up the good work, kid. You find Brooklyn.
What'd you find? Nothing, Blue. We're clear. Huh? 
Ten eight. Let's go before more shoreline show up. Hey. Now, let's get that bridge down. Let's try that again. <laughs> Big tower on a volcano. Looks like the end's in sight, huh? The nitpick, but Avery spent all that money on towers. Would it have killed him to put a guardrail up here? I'm gonna take a look around. Just how much do you owe Alcazar? Uh, half. Half of what? Well, he only knows about the Gunsway heist. <laughs> Which is worth 400 million. Right, but if Nathan's theory is correct, then there's a lot more treasure. Well, you should have told him it was 200,000. You never tell your partners how much a job is really worth. I wasn't exactly expecting to be partners with him. Guys, we're gonna find it, pay off that lunatic, and still have plenty to spare. Trust me. I got mud in my mouth. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Oh, 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 oh. Shrink? No, but I will after this. Come on, you guys are overreacting. Get the whole thing under control. Find our way in. Let's go claim our treasure, boys. Hmm. Key 
get in that way. Sam, give me a hand with this. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. Huh. Looks like there's something back here. Sam? Yeah. Let's do this. Damn. It's breaked over. All right, let's look around. Hey, careful with that thing, kid. Heads up! Ah, Jesus! I said heads up! Excited. Uh, he's got a lot riding on this. See a treasure, though. Hey guys, coming. Come check this out. Saint Dismas. We meet again. So, what do we got? More sigils. There's our boy Avery. Thomas too. And that's, uh... Um... That's Adam Baldridge, that's uh, Joseph Farrell, and that's Richard Warren. Hmm. Pirate captains. All right, so maybe your pirate pool theory wasn't so ridiculous after all. <laughs> all right, so, uh... Let's see, what do you think the trick is here? Gotta push a button, pull something? Uh, maybe... Maybe one of the arms, or... Yeah, give it a shot. Whenever you're done fondling poor St. Dismas, I think you might want to come take a look at this. Trapezoid is obviously the volcano. The crown, that's King's Bay. We got ourselves a map, gentlemen. Victor, you're a goddamn genius. Hear that, Nate? Genius. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if we're here, this tower lines up with Avery's sigil. Okay, so then the other sigils must be the towers from Avery's time. Well, I mean, a treasure's got to be in one of them, right? Yeah, but which one? I count 12 towers. Hey, uh, Victor? Huh? You didn't start smoking cigarettes by any chance, did you? Looks like we're not the first ones here. I'm moving around her! Stay your goddamn 
move around. Wait. What the? Hope so. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, fine. Sam? Yeah, over here. Hey, what are you doing? Confirming a suspicion. Shit. Look at this. They figured out the towers, too. Locations, sigils, the works. So now what? Now what? Now we're screwed. Okay, because there's three of us, and there's God knows how many of them, and they have a head start? Yeah, but they don't know which tower to go to yet. Well, that's great, Nathan, because neither do we. Yes, we do. <laughs> Look, it's a little worn down. Right there, that's a match. Yeah, are you sure? Because, I mean, it could be this one, too. But still, two beats the hell out of 12. All right. I'm gonna take this tower. You and Sully, you take that no, one. No, 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 no. No, Rafe's guys are all over these towers by now. Exactly. So if we want to have a chance to catch them, then we've got to split up. Sam, just hold up a second, will you? Nate, he's right. These towers are at opposite ends of King's Bay. Damn it. If you run into any of those shoreline clowns, you call us, okay? See you soon. Come on, Nate. We gotta hurry. <laughs> 